Well, not the best week. No, it's been one to forget, isn't it? Um, yeah, it was disappointing again today. I thought, again, I thought we, we did okay in spells. Um, conceded really poor goals again. Um, it's always going to be a struggle when you do that. I think the defence has, uh, has been the backbone of the team early on in the season. Uh, we weren't conceding goals like we are now. and um, it, It's really difficult. It's another, she shipped another five today, so that's ten in two games. So, look, we, we come off, we, we know um, we've not been good enough again. Scored a couple of good goals, but you can't concede five goals and expect to win any game of football. So we had a chat after. <coughs> we were staying in the dressing room for, for quite a bit and um, spoke about it. <coughs> um, and like I said, I'm, I've got a really good group and they want to learn and they want to listen. And they're really good. I've said it many times. Um, we just haven't been of late. and It's cost us <coughs> um, points and obviously uh, we've conceded a lot of goals. So... We've got to be mad up for it on Tuesday, lower stuff. Um, it's a big game for us, so um, there's no better way to get over a, a, a poor performance or a bad day at the office with a home game against one of your local rivals. So we're looking to balance back on Tuesday. Do you think it was a game of two halves, possibly, today? Um, I'm not sure about that. Look, I, th I thought we had quite a, a good start, really. I thought the first nine, ten minutes, I thought we started quite well, and then we find ourselves two, two goals down. Um, <laughs> which was, was hard to take, but if we get one back and you think, go on, with, after half-time, are we going to get back in it? And we concede straight after half-time. Yeah, it's a terrible goal and a terrible time to concede, which <coughs> then puts on the back foot. Then 4-1. So we were, look, was always trying to climb the mountain and we just never never could because we just conceded too many goals. But a couple of positives were two well-taken goals from Jake and Folksy, though. Yeah, yeah, they're both good goals, actually. Jake's got another goal on. I don't know what that is in now, but it's, it's definitely mo mostly scored in the season, I think. And, and I thought folks, he obviously got left out midweek, uh, and I thought he looked quite bright and a, and a threat. He scored a good goal as well, yeah. Uh, what do you put the last two games down to? Do you put it down to like um, players losing focus, like feeling the... Oh, well, that's, what, that's what we've been speaking about. I don't know, obviously we've had such highs with the trophy, um, and I think when that comes to an end, is it a little anti-climax after? I don't know, I hope not, because, like I said all along, um, our bread and butter's the league. We, we want to be trying to get up the, the football period and out of this level, so, um, I don't know, we're sort of caught in between, it'll be um, mid-table, games are running out, end of season feel, but I, I can't accept that, and I'm, I'm hopefully the lads won't want to accept that, because <coughs> we want to win as many games as we can, but we've certainly not been in good form. Um, since, since the trophy. <coughs> and as you say on Tuesday, local derby at home, they're struggling, so they'll be up for it. So it's a perfect game to hopefully respond. Yeah, you'd like to think so, but we're, we're not in good form. So we've, we've conceded 10 goals in the last two games. So they'll probably be looking at it and thinking, do you know what, it's a chance for them to get three points. And, and why wouldn't they? Um, I'd be the same. So it, look, yeah, from our point of view, it's a chance for us to try and put the last two games right. And, Obviously, local derby, but we've got these for them. We're going to get three points. They're, they're probably looking at it as a chance to get three. And obviously, they're, they're down in the box. So, I think we plan twice as well. So, if they beat us, then they're only a couple of points behind us. Um, so, yeah, it's a big game. And hopefully, the lads can bounce back. After having a chat there, we can bounce back and, and, and get back to the need of that we, we used to know. And on Thursday, with the County Cup semi final draw, what do you think of it? Yeah, look. Stone Market, Leicester, or Kirkley. I suppose on paper, you'd obviously say you'd prefer Kirkley because they're the league below, but in saying that, they, they beat a decent Phoenix, though, team quite convincingly. So they've obviously got a threat. We'll have a look at them and see bits of them. So <laughs> when that comes around, we'll be ready and um, hopefully looking to get to um, the County Cup for them. Do you think having the County Cup still to fight for could be like a positive to kind of hopefully yeah. overturn this? Yeah, 100%. I think it's a, it's a competition I've said all along that we, we, we're proud of being the holders. Um, I think we've only won it three times in our history, so we've not done great in it. So we're at a semi-final, so we want to go all the way and retain it and, and win it. So <laughs> that gives us something to focus on as well as league games start um, coming to a close as well. So, yeah, I just want to finish the season positive.
Um, and at the minute, it's not been the last few games. So, well, we're looking to start that Tuesday and hopefully we go on a little run till the end of the season. Uh, but we've got two straight home games now, Tuesday and Saturday. Will that help us, do you think? Yeah, I think uh, look, uh, our away form hasn't been great. I don't think we've... The only game we've won away from home um, since the Oval game is Woodbridge. So, we've not been great away from home. So, to... To, to have two home games coming up is music to be as back to blue. Because hopefully we can get three points. Do you, is there any like answer you could think of as to why maybe we've been a little bit no, poor I on the road? No, I, I think all football managers are searching for that one thing and that's consistency. I don't think many teams have it. The teams that do obviously win the division, which is Banbury in our division, um, the rest are always very much up and down. Tampa for favourites at the start of the season, yeah. I think they're a point above us, but we've got a game in hand. So it's, it's trying to find that balance of, of young players and old players. and um, it's, it's a difficult one. I'll take some blame, Joe. Where we've not been so good, I've, I've been shuffling the team about and we've not got no consistency in terms of <coughs> starting 11. So, yeah, it's just finding that consistency. But hopefully we can get a little bit of a run of, of, of wins and a little bit of consistency before the end of the season. Do you think how today went? Could have possibly kind of reflect our season, good at spells but inconsistent yeah, at times. Yeah, probably if you if you want to put it into a ninety minutes, that was probably it. We we looked dangerous at times. We got two good goals, but at other times we looked all over the place and that we would concede <laughs> a fair few. So yeah, it probably summed us up. So um, look, we we keep working hard. We try and finish as high as we can, and then we will try and regroup. <coughs> probably add a few additions um, in the summer uh, and try and put a real um, force together to try and. Try and get out of this division and get in the class. Cheers, Kev. Cheers.